Once you get started in building your project in Final Cut Pro, you'll quickly realize that you need to do more than simply grab clips and move them around the timeline. To take advantage of the other tools in Final Cut Pro, go to the little arrow menu here and click on the drop down to select from one of the tools you have here. The primary working tool is called the Select tool, and this is where you'll spend most of your time. But underneath that, you have the Trim, Position, Range Selection, Blade, and then the Zoom and Hand tools. We'll start with the Select tool, our default. This allows us to simply click on a click and drag it around wherever we like in the timeline. The Select tool also allows me to shorten a clip. By simply clicking and dragging on the edge of the clip, Notice how the icon changes, allowing me to shorten or lengthen the duration of that clip. This is basic trimming, which is built into the Select tool. However, if you need more advanced trimming, we have the Trim tool for that. First of all, you can do the exact same thing. Lengthen or shorten a clip by clicking and dragging on the end of it. You can also click on the edit point between two clips and click and drag that. This will allow us to change both the in point and the out point of the selected clips. You can also perform something called a slip edit, where if you click and drag on the clip itself, notice that the heads and tails don't change, meaning that the duration of the clip does not change. However, I'm changing what part of the media I'm seeing or utilizing in this project. The next tool is the position tool. The position tool allows me to click and drag projects around the timeline, just as you've already seen. However, there is a distinct difference. Watch what happens if I go back to the select tool. If I click on this clip here and click and drag it to the end of the timeline, notice how the gap is automatically closed up in between them. However, if I go to the position tool and I click and drag on a clip and move it to the end of the timeline, notice that the gap does not close up that gap is now left in place. There may be times where you want to move footage around but not change the timing of the project, and this allows you to do that. Of course, you do have a blank space in your project here that you will need to take care of at some point. The next tool is the Range Selection tool. This allows me to select just a portion of a clip that's already on the timeline. That way, if I wanted to apply a speed effect or a color effect or anything else, I could select exactly the portion of the clip that I want to apply that to. Next up, you have the Blade tool. This allows me to take an existing clip and cut it into pieces. So if I wanted to rearrange part of it, for example, like so, I can easily do that. Finally, you have the Zoom and the Hand tool. The Zoom tool, of course, allows you to zoom into just a portion of the timeline, and the Hand tool allows you to easily scrub back and forth along the timeline. You'll spend most of your time in this Select tool, and learning keyboard shortcuts like Shift-Z to zoom out and see the entire project can save you a lot of time navigating your project.